Hi everyone. So um, this is kind of like a different type of video for me because usually when I make videos I am like putting tutorials on YouTube and stuff of makeup. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make this video because um, I just have a lot of things I want to say and it's kind of hard to put everything I want to say into writing. Um, So, if you know me, then you would know um, that I have a son who recently passed away. Um, His name is Christian, and he has had cancer for the past three years. He was cured twice, and he relapsed twice after the first time. Um, and on March 30th, he died. Um, His tumor was growing so fast. Um, in his lung, that his heart was in the right side of his chest and there was so much pressure on it that his heart just couldn't take it anymore. So, first I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's been there for us in the past like three years that he's been sick like thank you for all the people who've been praying all the people who sent us cards and helped with his benefits or just like donated to help us out I just want to say thank you to everybody um, but I guess I just kind of wanted to talk about, I don't even know, I don't really know where this video is going, but I guess kind of what I wanted to get out of this is just to tell everybody because people really don't understand. <laughs> people really don't understand what it's like when you lose somebody, unless you've lost somebody, but especially like a child, because obviously most people's kids don't die before them. Um, so I guess what I wanted to say was that it really puts everything into perspective in a terrible way because obviously you don't want to lose somebody but To everybody out there I just want you to know like life is not a guarantee or a promise um, one day you're playing with your kid and the next day you're finding out they have cancer and being told they have the best odds of surviving it and then the next day they're dying from it you know like life is not promised to everybody so like love the people you're with let them know that you love them don't take anything for granted 
because one day you're gonna want to tell them and it's gonna be too late like I never thought that at 17 I would be pregnant in high school and then it happened to me and I had my son and he ended up being like the best thing that ever happened to me. And I didn't think that four years later he would have passed from cancer, you know? Like, you don't think these things are gonna happen to you. And I know it sounds really cliche because everybody says it, but you really don't think anything will happen to you until it does. Come here. Mm. All I can say is that <laughs> My son isn't suffering anymore. He doesn't have to be in pain. He doesn't have to sit in bed every day. Not being able to move around that much. So I'm thankful that he's not suffering. And thankful that I have Ariana too. I don't know what I would do if I literally had nothing right now. But. Just remember, I really love the people around you. So I guess I kind of just want to clarify something I said, which was, like, love the people you can because it'll be too late. And by that, I guess I didn't mean, like, I loved my son and I got to tell him I love him, but I will never get to tell him that again. I'll never get to see him again. I'll never get to hold him in my arms or anything. So tell them you love them and show them you love them while you can. At the end of the day, nothing else in this world matters more than the people you love that you have in your life. And especially your children, you know, like, nobody but a parent would ever understand. But the love you have for your child is just... something I can't even describe. It's just the best thing in the world and the love that they show you back. 